Ah, oh, greetings to you all, my fine YouTubers. I've, um, I'm basically coming on and I don't know how smart it is for a totally blind person to be doing an unboxing. Although I can't really call it an unboxing because I've already ripped the box open and had a look. Um, as some of you may know, I record voiceovers and I've been using a Rode NT USB, uh, which has served me fairly well, but there's still a bit of unacceptable surface, uh, surface noise and um, whilst I'm still trying to get the actual physical home set up going, I'm basically going to do a, a PVC pipe foam job uh, with a couple of heavy blankets to, because some of the, I mean, honestly, some of them are like $5,000 for acoustic panels, and truly, some of the prices you see are outrageous. Uh, so the start of my little journey of upgrade is uh, this Rode NT1 uh, with... AI interface, I'm just pulling out the cable here. Now, this cable is massive. I've, I've actually rolled it up a bit because it's astronomical. The size, I reckon it's, I, I don't know, I don't really have a concept of how long sort of one meter is in my hands, but it's way longer than two, I reckon it's at least three meters. Um, so that's the big thick cable. It feels like a big skipping rope. It is a seriously good cable. This is the first thing I love about it. Some cables you get with devices and they, they feel they feel like it's just a crap construction. This is the little clip in the end that goes into the microphone here. Now let's pull out the mic, which is one of the centerpieces. Now this mic uh, is typical with Rode. This is the second Rode product I've had. I hope I've got it the right way with the Rode logo at the front. Uh, this microphone is seriously good construction. I mean, this is a head hitter. You could belt someone in the head with this, it would do damage. Um, now, on the end of this uh, big, it's steel construction, of course, on the end, I just unscrewed this. This is the little screw that comes with it. And uh, you take off this little screw, which I'll put down here and uh, then you pull out well that's the USB cable there for the interface and I'll get to that uh, and then you pull out uh, this little hey, if it will come out <clears throat> come on you prick uh, don't do this to me <clears throat> ah, this is the shock mount oh, I really hope you can see all this because I've got no fucking idea. This is the shock mount. And basically, all you really need to do is uh, take the microphone and uh, hook it up in here. And it goes into this little shock mount. And it's, it's a bit deep. You've got to sort of balance it right. And then screw it in. Now, the shock mount uh, can go on your long... Sorry, your short or long microphone stands. I'm going to lift up a little bit here. There's a big hole here. Now, as Rode often do, they give you a smaller screw in the hole so that if you have a small desktop tripod stand, you can put it on there. Um, if you need a bigger hole, you just get a... I got a knife because a Phillips head screwdriver or flathead wasn't big enough. So I got a... My brother got a kitchen knife and unscrewed the little nut that goes in this hole. And it goes on my crappy little Hamilton piece of shit microphone stand, uh, which cost me $23. And I'm sorry, I can't stand it. Um, I don't mean to sound negative, but it is the most unstable piece of crap I've used. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a full on audio engineer or anything by any means. And if I shove the sh shock mount back in there. Uh, this is the pop, oh, sorry. This little baby is the interface really small for an interface. Um, I still haven't done a lot of playing around. You've got the phantom power knob and I believe it's the mic gain or is the right volume the mic gain? I can't remember. And you have a connection for the cord on the left. On the far right you have a hole for uh, I believe that's the headphone hole. On the back you've got two other holes. I haven't worked out what they're for yet. Might be no, it wouldn't be RCA, would it? I could be wrong. Someone, please comment if you know what these things are, because I can't remember. And I, thought, I think it's the road logo on the front. Um, 
and the USB goes in the back. I have tested this. This is the pop shield. Now, I have a Chaotica eyeball, which I'm probably going to throw on this uh, microphone. Now, I'm, I'm not a massive... I don't mind the eyeball. It certainly helps flatten some of the echo, but it's, it's not the number one solution. That's why I'm trying to get close to a, uh, a full-on you know, little setup that I can do for as cheap. This little pop shield, it's, um, it's like a meshy kind of material. It's not soft. I actually enjoy this pop shield because the soft ones and the Chaotica eyeball has this, they really pu -pu 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 -pu, and they just, they make it, they make things really difficult um, sometimes. This pop shield, um, there are still pops with this one if you're too close. Um, like with any mic, you've really got to try and work out the right setting. Um, the mic, uh, and I'll go back to the mic because I love this construction. It's like some mics you get and they're, they feel plasticky. This one is solid. I don't know if it's steel or aluminium or it's it, but it's heavy and I like heavy. I, I get a sort of sense of security with heavy because you know, it's been built well. Um, I'm not, Rhodes, not the only great company. There are many great companies. I got this from store DJ, uh, which is a shop in Australia. And I got this for, uh, 449 I paid. That's Australian dollars. Uh, I think it's a bit less in the U S but, uh, dollars, especially at the moment because of the COVID-19, uh, the dollar is dreadful. If you've, if you're going to buy something from the US now, you've, re oh, hang on a minute. I'm going to put that screw back on. Sorry. If you buy something from the US at the moment and you live in Australia, you're going to be paying a, a bigger amount than usual because the dollar's right down. There you go. There's a little, fine, a little financial update from Michael Marshall, who knows nothing about finance. I just want to screw this screw back on because. Uh, small screws not screwed on things equals loss. And I really don't want to have to ring store DJ as I've done a couple of times, although not for screws, and say, uh, I've lost the screw for the shock mount. Could you please send me another one? Uh, so I'll just put that back in there. Come on, in you get. The boxes are very snug with this one. Um, I'm not doing a very good job at all uh, with, with the put back. You can just go in there. Um, I was going to start using it today, but as I said, the crappy little microphone stand I have got is it's it's just it's impossible uh, to use. It just falls down all the time. So I'm getting a um, oh shit! I can't even remember the name of the stand I'm getting actually. It, it was, I was going to get a Hercules, uh, which I've heard really good things about the Hercules stands. Um, unfortunately, the store DJ where I do my shopping is sold out of them. And uh, I don't want to try looking around because some store DJs open, but a lot of other companies aren't. So I really don't want to have to try and hunt around for something uh so I hope you enjoyed that rambling little look at what I can't wait to play with. Once I get the stand and get it all set up and get the eyeball on, I can't wait to have a play with this because in my little bit of testing I did, the, the floor is just amazing. There's none of that little USB hiss you tend to get with peripherals. And I'm, I'm really excited. 